All right, guys, today I'm going to be teaching my friend how to script in just 10 minutes, so let's get started. So uh, um, I have a few things written down here. So the first thing is, what's well, a question? So what kind of scripting or coding knowledge do you have? Uh, I have some in Java, but I have none in Roblox. So this is my first time in Roblox. Oh, it's your first time in the actual Roblox studio? Yeah. That, that helps us a lot. So let's get started. The first thing... Uh, I'm gonna teach you is a uh, print is just printing so yeah just go ahead and make a script in server script service uh, okay. yeah. yeah plus and then insert script here we go you already got it uh, you also gonna need your output window so just like click view and then uh, view and then output oh, yeah view, view up there up there yeah hey there we go now you see that like, trash can icon on the top right of the output just click that uh, wait, where? on the top right of the output there's? Yeah, there we go. Alright. Alright, yeah, now, uh, you can just click play. Play? Uh, top, 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 you, like, it's it's to the right of the file, you see, there's like a little arrow and like a character. Oh file, oh, top, left, top left, top left, top left. Yeah, and then, and then no, 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 don't click file, a little bit to the right of the, there's a bunch of like icons. Here. Over here? Yes, there we go, that's the play button. And now if you check your output, you'll see hello world. Yeah, I see. Now you can change Hello World to whatever you like. Oh, you can hit X on like the other stuff, it just pops up automatically. Okay, I'll stop it. There we go, now like you change Hello World to whatever you like. And then you see the arrow under play? Yeah, Don't worry uh, about the other thing. No, no, not that play, there's, there's another one on like on the main. Oh, this yeah, there okay. we go. Yeah, click run instead. There we go. And, and now it prints whatever oh, you typed. Yeah. Yeah, now, now you can click stop and run. Now, um, like, move the print down a bit in the script. Like, press enter a few times. Now, at the top on line one, just type local. Like, capital, a uh, lowercase l, yeah. And space, and then you can name it whatever you like. Uh, anything? Yeah, anything at all. That, it has to be lowercase? No, it doesn't have to be lowercase. Okay, now after that, hit equals and then, um... Alright guys, so, um, I accidentally, uh, didn't make the, or didn't start the timer, so... There it is, the timer's going. Uh, let's get it right back to it. So, local clutch, uh, then, like, space, equals, and then now you can make it whatever you like, so... Yeah, Again? You, yeah, you, you can put, like, a number, so... No, no. Yeah, you, you could probably, um, quotations around that. There we go. All right. All right, and then inside the print, get rid of the the quotation marks in, in between the brackets. That's what like inside means. <laughs> and then type in clutch. You got, yeah. And there we go, you got it, you put the brackets in. Hey, now, now hit run, it, it'll print clutch is cool, one. There we go, oh. printed. Yeah. yeah. All right, now hit stop. <laughs> Uh, what's your favorite food? Uh, Don't worry, this is related to the topic. Could it be a restaurant? Sure. Not yeah. No okay, yeah, now now do local... Wait, no, I need a food. A food? Alright, just do pizza then. Okay, yeah, now, now type local pizza. You can get, yeah, get, you can get rid of that if, if you want. And then now, instead of, remove the speech marks and put a number there. What do you mean? In here, in the code. Remove, yeah, just remove the speech marks and then put a number. You can have as many pizzas as you want. Uh, okay, you uh, use a number under a hundred. Just, uh, just, 100? just, yeah, just so we can. Alright. Okay, there we go. It's, yeah, now just do print pizza. And it'll print, okay, don't, don't run it. it it's just, it's gonna print. 36 as you should know by now right so yeah. now like do another variable and then uh call it i don't know what, what any topping you want any topping yeah you, you keep the print yeah and just local, put another variable like yeah right under pizza do another local variable no, no keep that keep that keep that one okay and then make another one yeah local and then now anything 
do this this time. All right, now, yeah, now you can put like another number there under a hundred, just so it's easier to see. And there I you go. Now, now type, now type, uh, print. Yeah, pizza plus Popeyes. All right, yeah. yeah now hit run and and yeah, basically that's gonna print forty eight. There you go. So you see how that works, right? You create like oh, a, it's for ads. Okay. Yeah, there we go. That's addition. So uh, the next thing we're gonna do is something a little bit more advanced. All right, guys, don't worry about the cut. The timer is still running, and uh, the next thing we're gonna do is uh, learn about functions. So uh, yeah, you can go to the print. Right, only you can actually get rid of everything there okay. and basically now you can type a uh, local and then function or local then the name all right so wait no, no no function first function first i i know how to script trust me and yeah and then hit space and like type the name of the function all right there we go and now what Okay, yeah, now there, you put a bracket. And then, um, go outside the brackets. Alright, after the yeah. brackets, now, uh, just hit enter, and it should create, like, an end. There we go, yeah. and now in here, okay, inside those brackets, right? You're, you're gonna type, uh, anything you like, so, like, just type, like, num1, and then comma, and then num2. No, inside the brackets, brackets. It, like, oh. beside clutch, yeah. Oh, these, are, these are called parameters, yeah. You'll you'll understand them in just a second. No, no space, no space, no space. It's oh. kind of like variables, except you're not typing local. Except you set the variables when you call in yeah. the function. You'll understand that. So uh, yeah. now type, now type um, print, and then uh, num1 plus num2. Okay. All right, there we go. Uh, yeah, it happens to us and no one can type sometimes now just uh, that won't do anything So go outside the function like after the end hit enter Oh, uh, at the end. Okay. Yeah after the end okay. and uh, from there just type uh, clutch Whatever your function name and then yeah, and then type and then put two brackets and then put two numbers separated by uh, commas And then it's gonna print uh, it's gonna like add them together No, no numbers numbers actual numbers Oh there, one, one set of brackets. Oh. One set? Yeah, well, just one set of brackets, yeah, yeah. There we go. And then after the 16, like, put comma and then put the second number. Oh, okay. Uh... Alright, yeah, now if you hit run, it's gonna print, uh, like, 27. Oh, so it's just, like, a different method now. Yeah, base, yeah, that's how a function works, so okay. it basically just, yeah, you can put parameters and the function will do something with them. And then whenever you call the function in on line 4 as you did, uh, basically it just puts the, okay, it puts those arguments as parameters. Like 16 became num1 and 11 became num2. Num2, yeah. Yeah, there we go. So uh, now we're going to do something a bit more advanced. It's going to be called an if statement. Uh, also guys, we have about three minutes left on the timer, so we gotta hurry, so, um, you can get rid of everything. And now type in, like, uh, two or three variables, I don't know how many we'll need, so just type in a few, and then make them all equal to, like, numbers. Like that? Variables, all variables, local. When we did, like, oh. local something, yeah, that's a variable. There we go. Okay, now what? You gotta put an equal and then just keep one number there. Uh, okay, so to create multiple variables like that, just put a comma after clutch. Uh, wait. Sorry. After after clutch, right after clutch, yeah, yeah. Put a comma, and then and then type your type the name of the second variable after the comma. Oh, so like the so like another name, right? Yeah, just another name. It's gonna be like another variable, so it saves you from having to put two lines of code. Does that have to be together? Oh uh, no, no. And then after cool, put one more. Okay. Yeah. Like, now, nah, after cool, put another comma and type a third one. Oh, okay. Are right, you okay? We, we got like two minutes where you gotta hurry. Uh, put, put, oh, no, put script, just anything. 
Uh, you can't write function. Uh, yeah, fun. Yeah, it works. And then now, after the equal, type in like a number, and then put a comma, type in another number, and then put a comma, type in another number. All right, there we go. So now clutch is equal to twelve, cool is equal to sixteen, fun is equal to twenty-five. Now, uh, now get rid of the black backslash, and then do um if clutch equals on equals. The next line? Yeah, on the next line. On the next line. Uh, if clutch equals equals twelve, then or just enter. There we go. You got a then and then. Now, now do uh print now print whatever you want. Like just print something, like print like clutches more than twelve or something. Print and then. Yeah, yeah. Hit tab. Yeah, you got. It's a lowercase p. Oh my god. Are right, yo? We gotta hear you, bro. My one minute left on the clock. I gotta <laughs> teach <laughs> if statements. Yeah, anything. Speech marks. Quotation marks? Yeah, okay, 12. Sure, that works. Yeah, actually, that's a good thing to do. Now, get out of the end, type in else, and then hit enter. Okay, enter. There we go. And then in here, uh, type in anything else, like, just... Print? Yeah, yeah pr print, uh, print it something. Oh, yeah, that, that works. So, uh, now if you hit run, uh, it, if clutch is equal to 12, then it's going to print 12. But if clutch... If you, if you change the 12 on the on the local... Okay, yeah, it's 12. Okay, hit stop. I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah, hit stop. Either. Yeah, yeah. Hit, hit... There we go. Now change the 12 at the on line 1. Or on line 2. Yeah, yeah. Change it on line 2. Change the 12 on line 2. Okay. Yeah, change it to like 11. Yeah. There we go. Now now hit run, and it's not going to print 12. It's going to print 36 instead. Because yeah, clutch was not equal to 12. There we go. That's if statements. Okay. All right, guys, with five seconds left, we've completed everything I wrote down. And, um, oh. yeah, um, how do you feel about scripting? Do you think you're going to go through with it? Yeah. Yeah, that's really good to hear. Um, other than that, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, it's Roblox. So make sure you hit that uh, like button and subscribe if you guys want to see uh, more videos like this. And if you want to be featured in the video. Other than that, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. It's Roblox. Peace.